Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this NFC matchup between the Seahawks and the 49ers. Phil, how about the quarterback position? Here you've got on one side one of the iconic figures of the game, and another side you've got a player who would like to one day break through that and be considered one of the best. Well, Jim, when we're talking about the star quarterback, we know that he, everything is going to be built around him. He's going to have many chances today to have success. And when you're a quarterback trying to rise at that level, well, you're not going to get all those chances. The team is going to curtail what you do a little bit until you prove to them that they can put all of it on your shoulders. So play well here today. You'll get more chances down the road. Baldwin's lined up in the slot. Wilson's got it in the gun. Looking across the middle. Incomplete and almost intercepted. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Russell Wilson has it under center. Second down and ten. The pass complete. Well, the only thing I can say about that play, it was better than the incompletion. The quarterback gets the completion, and they pick up a yard or two. defensive backs out on the field for this one. Third and nine. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Hard to play man-to-man -to -man against such a quality wide receiver. He's fast. He's big. you got to mix up the coverage. You play straight man-to-man, -man, you're going to give up a lot of completions. They hand it off to the running back. They've got him down there. That's a nice, powerful statement as they establish the run at the beginning of this game. Yeah, Jim, I, you're, you're right. I'm going to give the offense a little credit here, but, you know, somewhere, I don't know, maybe the defense will have to put some weights in their pockets. you got to hang in there and make the tackle. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, after watching that play, I think it's safe to say it's a lower body injury. Not sure exactly what it is, but I hope the player's okay. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. The wide receiver in motion. They give it to the running back. They run right. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second and goal from the five. Eyeing that left side. Touchdown, Seattle. Well, when you get close to the goal line, you always have to look out for the tight end because anytime there's a, just a little bit of deception, that deception is enough for the tight end to get that area where he can get open. That time he does it. Touchdown. So for two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19.
Gores lined up as the single back. First and ten. Stacked up at that point. I know this never happened in your decorated career, but an early interception, how will he rebound the quarterback? You know, I'll just say this, you're a funny guy. That's funny. <laughs> I'd look, hey, I did it all the time, and I used to tell my offensive lineman, be ready. I'm probably going to throw some more, so make the tackle. First down, Wilson standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Off the ball. Second down after the incompletion. Wilson from the shotgun. He'll fire it out to the left. And the pass incomplete. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. That ball is picked off. Linebackers <laughs> nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Now in rhythm, the quarterback drops back to throw once more. The defense thinks they have the guys to play man-to-man -man coverage down the field. Well, they didn't that time. The receiver made a nice little move, gets open, and a good throw by the quarterback. Colin Kaepernick under center. Second and six. Going across the middle. He had no time to get set. The offense needs six yards here on third down after that incompletion. Third and six coming up. Colin Kaepernick will be taking this one from the gun. Kaepernick gets it to Vernon Davis. Well, it's always about risk and reward. It is a risk to go for it on fourth down. When you pick it up, you feel like a genius, don't you? And Manningham's in the slot. Midway through the first, they feed the running back. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Play number six coming up on this drive. And complete. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and then uh, getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. And Manningham's lined up now as a slot receiver. Screenplay is on. Makes the catch. Oh, 
Jim, this time it's a halfback screen. Nice job by the quarterback. The halfback, good job after catching it, picked up some good yards. Long gain sets them up here on this play. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. Kaepernick hits Crabtree. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Full the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. The 49ers for the extra point. Count it. <laughs> 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Percy Harvin gets the chance to return this kickoff. And he's brought to the ground. The Seahawks will go with the pistol on this play. First and ten. They'll go ground. Heading right to the 25. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The Seahawks in the pistol. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Second and two. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Got a big lane. Bringing the play to an end. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Harvin's hand at the football. They tackle him for a loss. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. The Seahawks come out in the pistol. Second and 12. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Tackles made. Well, the Dink and Duck quarterbacks, they love to see cover three because they know they're going to drop back and just throw the short passes underneath. Good job by the quarterback taking advantage of this defense. Left side. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Seahawks lined up in the pistol. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. What a good job by the defensive player there. Just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Lined up in the pistol formation. Second and six. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Third and seven. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Good piece of tackling. Well, it was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. The Seahawks line up in the pistol offense. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Lynch 
flashes to the left side. That picks up seven. Good job that time by the old line. How about that? Nice blocks, and they got a nice little run there inside the red zone. Second down and three following that nice run. Dante Wittner picks off that pass. This defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense, and finally he gets the interception inside uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points. Manningham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Kaepernick gets it to Vernon Davis. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. This play set up by the long gainer. First down and ten. Working that left side. Makes the catch in the open field. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. First down, following the long play. handed to the running back they deck him in the backfield when you make play calls like that you're not going to win many football games that was a terrible call here on first down let's go now to danielle bellini who has an injury update guys i had a chance to speak with a 49ers team official vernon davis's injury seems to be relatively minor or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly tackle down at the 47 you got to be agile when you make these kind of catches, running these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. Wide receivers are bunched up. We're about midway through the second. That's an interception. That brings the play to an end. Most NFL linebackers, they're borderline good enough to be a running back and they got the hands of defensive backs here's a good case what a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker the Seahawks will approach this play from out of the pistol goes to the left he is tackled at the 40 yard line what that run does it just puts the offense in a good situation so a good positive run the Seahawks will go with the pistol on this play Second and seven. He has the grab. And now will be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Great job by the receiver that time, holding on to the football after the catch. What a hit by the defense. In this league, you better be able to catch it and take the big hit. Back to the air here on first down. And that ball's nearly picked off, but he dropped it. That was excellent man-to-man -man coverage at time. When you want to shut down a receiver, really the only way to do it is to man up and play him one-on-one. -on -one. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Throws to the right. That pass incomplete. This drives coaches crazy. They get a wide receiver open down the field on a post route, and what happens? The quarterback just overthrows it. Hey, hey, hey. 
quarters formation here for the defense. Miller's there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. You talk about controlling the flow of the game. Another first down, and the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense, they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits and not even fighting back. Ah, this is a terrible job by the defense. First and ten, looking to the right side and throwing. Touchdown, Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks lined up now for the point after. Driving extra point is good. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. And Manningham's a receiver in the slot. Now first and 10. He'll throw it over the middle. And one Bolden with the catch. That time, the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read, but these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Bavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. First and 10. In completion on that hurry throw. Second down following that incompletion. On the run, he'll fire it out to the left, and that pass is going out of bounds, incomplete. Lined up in the slot. And a little screen set up here. Makes the grab. Good solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. split out wide on the right. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Throwing now to his left. And Manningham's going to pull in the bullet pass. Touchdown. This game is tight. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there. They get to catch the football. They get to score touchdowns. They get to do dances. And you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. Extra point was good. Setting up for the kickoff. He's 
got a chance to return this one. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. Tate's in the slot. First and 10. Out of completion this time. Picks up nine. The Seahawks call the timeout. They're first. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts them in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Lines up here. Second and one. He wants to go deep. Pulls it in. What a call and what a catch. Well, one of the prettiest plays in the NFL, maybe in all of sports, is still the long pass down the field that is completed. What a nice throw and catch. Here's the first snap after the big play. Pressure and incomplete. down now there's the marker it comes out that snap was not in time it'll be a delay of game call offense still second down And now, after the penalty, it's second down and 15. Screen pass. Catch is made. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down. But I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. Russell Wilson has it under center. Third down and eight. Ball's going to be incomplete. A hit knocked the ball out. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. defensive backs out on the field for this one into the open flat caught they pounce on him there what was the defense doing that time on that fourth down try by the offense disorganized not ready and they give it up and this will be from 47 yards the field goal attempt
field goal try. Yes, sir. That does it for the first half. 49ers trail in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Seahawks lead by four. Danielle Bellini is there with the latest from the sidelines. I got a chance to quickly speak with Coach Harbaugh during halftime. And Jim, I asked Coach about the great red zone defense, and he said they've shown up when it counts on defense. Having to settle for field gold when you get inside the 20 is always what you try to accomplish as a defense, and that's the reason this game is so tight right now. Thanks, Danielle, and now we'll go to the field. lined up now as a slot receiver. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. And Manningham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Kaepernick from the gun. Kaepernick able to find Mario Manningham. Good job by the play caller that time. Calling for the short pass, even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. It's third down coming up. Kaepernick's going to take it from the gun. The 49ers get a first down. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. Bolden's a receiver in the slot. First and 10. Gore now slashing to the right side looking for room. The off-tackle run, it's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle spot to decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. That leads us to second down. And the give to Frank Gore, brought down at the 47-yard line. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Colin Kaepernick under center. Third and about a half a yard quarterback quick toss to the outside now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field good run that time it results in a first down and it moves those chains on the sideline keep those chains moving tire that defense out Bolden's lined up in the slot. First and ten. Kaepernick's turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. This is frustrating for a coach. You call a play, you get the receiver down the field on a quarter route, and your quarterback cannot put it on the target. Gores, the receiver, all the way to the right side. Throws the pass. Kaepernick hits Crabtree with that pass. Well, it's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. Third down on the way. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Looks to his left. Wide open for the catch. 
Anytime you give a quarterback that kind of time, he's going to get comfortable, get his feet under him, be relaxed, and he is going to make the perfect throw down the field. Easy completion that time for the quarterback. And Manningham's in the slot. First and ten. This is a screen play all the way. 49ers in the end zone. Well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. The 49ers now will tack on the extra point. He made it. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. They're setting up return. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. <laughs> Offense lines up here. First and 10. Set up screen. Complete. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. Tate's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. They're setting up screen. Ball is caught, swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. That's second down coming up. And he's going to pitch it here. Tries to ward off a defender with a stiff arm. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. you got to find a way to score a touchdown. Miller's move from the tight end position to the slot. Third and seven. The throw to the left. The Seahawks getting set to attempt the field goal. Never take it for granted. When you're trying a field goal, a lot of things could go wrong, but good execution at time by the offense and a good kick. Three points. Fair catch signal made. And a touchback. lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. First and ten. Kaepernick still has it after some nifty play action. Ball's out. Recovery by the offense. Well, the defense always says, let's call some fumbles. Then when you cause it and you're not able to recover it, that is one emotional letdown. Fifteen minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. Yeah. 
Frank Gore is in the backfield. The final quarter begins with this snap. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Well, these plays do look ugly when they don't work. It's, it's second down, and you run the running play, hoping to pick up a few yards to make third down easier. But when you lose yards like this, third long, tough to do. The defense comes out of the dime. Kaepernick from the gun, trying to work that left side. Gains 13. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. And Manningham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and 10 as they go ground here. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little... Um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Here they come back to the line after the 50-yard gainer on the previous play. Always manage the football game. you got to be thinking about it all the time if you're the quarterback. It's a tie game. You're down in here in the red zone. Be careful with the football. You at least want to get three points out of this. Coming up, second down. Here's the handoff, running off tackle. They get to him just in time, one yard shy of the first down. Teams in the NFL spend about 30, 40% of their time all week long practicing plays in the red zone. So there's a lot they can do here. Let's see if they come up with something that works. Play number six coming up on this drive. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Trying to overpower him. Here, runs it across for the touchdown. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. Niners lined up now for the point after. Inside of the uprights. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Percy Harvin will be returning this one. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Russell Wilson has it under center. First down and 10. Makes the grab. And keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. Well, they call it the post route because you're running towards the goal post. But a good route that time by the wide receiver making that cut. He gets open, gets behind the defense, and a nice throw. Easy catch there. No one near him. What a nice catch by the receivers. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Every play is precious now as we reach the midway point of the final quarter. Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. The quarterback realizes time is a factor. They need to put some points on the board. Second and nine. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He's brought down. 
zone defense doesn't work in the NFL like it used to. Good job by the quarterback reading that zone and finding the open guy. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Now, cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. Closer defense gets to the end zone. Their backs are against it. The tougher they get. But that time, the offense still able to pick up a few yards on an inside run. Time in this one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. Trying to get it outside before the defense is set. Steps out of bounds. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. Time enough to squeeze in one more play before the two-minute warning here in the fourth. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Take the points. That's what I'm telling you, Coach. Take the points. You didn't get it done on third and go. Get three points and keep momentum on your side. This game is closing in on a finish, and the defense can make one play and basically end the game. Scores the touchdown. Two minutes to play in this one, and a whole lot still to be sorted out here with the game tied. Yeah, it's been a great contest so far. Who's going to be able to make that play in the clutch uh, here down the stretch to win the game? The Seahawks will tie it up with this extra point. <laughs> extra point is good. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Got a flag. I saw the coach down on the sideline, and he is furious about that ball being kicked out of bounds. Shoot, I have no stake in this game. I'm mad, too. I, it just, you got to kick it off. The field is 53 yards wide, and we couldn't kick it in between those 53 yards. It's, man, it's like you hitting the driver. You can't keep it on the fairway. First and 10, out of the eye. The give to the tailback. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. And Manningham's a receiver in the slot. Going off tackle here. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. An off tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. He makes the catch. The tackle is going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. The 49ers have saved all three of their timeouts for here in the fourth quarter. High game in this one. Fourth quarter is winding down, and that's a two-yard game. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Here we go. 
and Manningham lined up in the slot. That catch, good for a first down. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good, it's so easy for them to throw a catch and just keep picking up those first downs. come to the line of scrimmage with two timeouts to play with. And they bring him down at the 33-yard line. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Second down coming up. Screen with two hands. He has it. Well, we were at practice on Friday, Jim. This team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all their practice pays off. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. The tackle was made. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. The 49ers signal for the timeout, and they have none remaining. Lining up now for what is a huge field goal try. points on the board they in fact seal this victory oh i think it did seal the victory jim what a day for this football team what a day by the offense every time they happen to had the